Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Caitlin, and this is a channel where I talk all things toys and dolls. Today we're back with another Monster High doll review. We are going to be talking about Amped Up Frankie. I am so excited for this doll. They look so, so good. I love this box too. Let's talk about that first, honestly. Like the detailing is so fun with these like skelettes on the side here. They're like imprinted. It almost looks like stage lights. So good. And then we have like a little spider web here. I really, really love the attention to detail here. Um, they do have some like accessories back here, but they're kind of hard to see through the box. So we will look more at those when we get them open. I love the shoes. Oh my goodness. And then here's the artwork, which is stunning. Definitely my favorite Frankie artwork so far. The back of the box has the same artwork, but larger, which, you know, makes it better for sure. There's some of the accessories that we can see on the back of the box. What does your description say? Can I read that through the phone? Let's see. Um, backstage glam is complete and no, I cannot. Okay. Backstage glam is complete and Frankie Stein is ready to rock and charge up the crowd. Serving lurks with a high voltage outfit and a supercharged electric guitar. Frankie is amped to give a performance that's positively electrifying. Super, super fun. I love that the stage door oh, back here is shaped like a coffin too. Like that's so cute. Anyway, I can't wait any longer. I'm super, super excited to get Frankie out of here. So I'm going to get them out and I will be right back. All right, and we are back. This Frankie has a ton of accessories. So I thought we'd go over those really quickly. First, they have this bag that is really large and can hold a lot of stuff. It's blue with green lightning bolts. It also has this weird like little cutout back there that I think is for their eye coffin. Which, what does this say? Let's see. I can't read that. <laughs> it says, I have zero idea what it says, to be honest with you, but it's something with a little star next to it. <laughs> the back has a silver heart with, like, electricity coming out of it. Let's see. Um, no, it's not for this, is it? They need to, like, no, it doesn't fit. Okay. I don't know what this is for, then. Anyway, let's throw that in the bag. Then they have this water bottle just a simple water bottle. I'm pretty sure we've seen this design before. Next we have some bolt hold hairspray that does have a removable top, which is fun. I love how much detail they put into their little accessories. Add that to the bag. We have a giant hair dryer that is pink tipped with silver all around and the handle is a lightning bolt. You know, I said like bag could hold a lot of stuff, but it's already pretty much full. Then they have some sour candy that just simply says sour, but there are definitely little kids on there that look like Sour Patch Kids. Then, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I thought it was a bracelet, but there's no opening to like slip their hand in, so I'm not really sure. Anyway. Oh, maybe this goes in the hole. Uh, it's a little Polaroid with the three main ghouls on there. Does it fit in there? It does. I don't know if that's what it's meant for, but it fits, so. <laughs> they have a little handheld mirror here. That's just a black skelet. A green comb with a lightning bolt. A green ring that says zap. Definitely won't put this on them. And then two little blue hair clippies. So much fun. I do love the ring. That's definitely my favorite accessory. So definitely want to put that on, but where am I going to put this? Here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Look at them. They're so good. I really love this hot pink lip. The blue eyeshadow with the lightning bolt is so much fun. The earrings are kind of blocked by the headphones, but they're just like green little nut bolts. Um, the headphones are insane. Like, look at this. Look at those lightning bolts coming out of those. That's so cool. Then we have the like chain detailing up here in the back and then the spikes up front that are also on chains. So good. It's the same on the other side. This side did get a little, little bent though. <laughs> Her, their hair is like, 
I don't know. I can't tell if it's poly or saran or not or what it is, but it's very thin. Uh, it's primarily white and black, but then there is pink and blue underneath and it is just straight back. Super fun. The Kitar, I'm going to move out of the way for a moment. Maybe. Oh, it's still stuck on their hand. Um, get off. <laughs> I didn't clip that part apparently, but that's okay. Then now it's stuck on their shoes. Okay. Of course it is. There we go. So here is their guitar. Really, really cool. I love that this is the instrument they chose, but it truly is just a keyboard that looks like a guitar that you can hold in the shape of a guitar. There's a giant lightning bolt going on the side with all the like intricate design stuff. Also, if you can hear children screaming, I'm sorry. It's an all day occurrence, <laughs> but this is really pretty. I really like the color scheme of it. Then we have the doll itself, which is wearing this really pretty silver jacket that is like a half jacket in the back. Or maybe it's just sleeves actually. Yeah, that's actually just the sleeves. It's not really even a jacket. That's crazy. <laughs> I like that. And then the pink tie is like a necklace with the little white faux collar. And we have this black jumpsuit with a blue and white lightning bolts underneath. Super cute. I love the silver like cage detailing. Does it come off easily? Mm, I'm not going to take that off right now. <laughs> I do kind of want like these puffy sleeves though on the other side of it. Can I do that? Is that possible? Come out of there. Oh yay. Okay. So that is how it came underneath the cage and that is when you pull it out. So I'm going to pull this side out too just because I think that's more fun. And I love, love, love a puffy sleeve. And these are very puffy. Yes, I like that so much more. Okay, and then the shoes are definitely the coolest piece of the outfit. Look at these. So they are kind of like different, which Frankie tends to do a lot, but I'm not mad at it. I don't even know how to explain to you what this looks like, but it's like a almost gladiator-esque situation where it continues like it separates and then meets over and over again. I don't know how to describe things very well. <laughs> and then this side has like the giant zipper with the like cage detailing of the lightning bolts that's on the bottom of this shoe as well. But this shoe has more of the little cage pieces than this one does. Then the ombre effect from pink to purple to blue is really cool. The bottom of the shoes have lightning bolts that are kind of like metallic and metal-esque coming out the back of them and the bottom are like screws super cool I love 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 this doll so much this is definitely one of the best Frankies ever let's put their guitar back on and take another look at them I am like doing these reviews very quickly and I'm sorry but I don't know I just get excited about the dolls and I just talk very fast this doll is so so cute really really like this one I am definitely noticing the blue skin this time a lot more than I normally do like I definitely miss green for skin Frankie but I still really like it I love the lip color too so so much but that is my review for amped up Frankie let me know what you think of them down below don't forget to like this video before you go and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my future videos and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys